I don't limit myself to just one person as a mentor. Right. But at the same time, at the same time, they all have something in common. And what do they all have in common? One, they've done deals and they've done deals ethically. Right. Okay. I don't want to work with somebody who I know is um, going behind somebody's back or, you know, like they, they'll be the first person to say, I can go to them without right. a contract being locked up and right. I don't have to worry about a thing. Right. Okay. Right. Right. You know, so right. that you is. Can't, you, that can't is under, you can't have the most. I had a guy that we were doing an FHA loan on. And, and I say FHA, this FHA does multifamily. Okay. Yep. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, yes. There's a, there's a, a 221D program and a 223F program through through HUD and FHA. More than five it, units? Oh, yeah. Five units and above? Okay. Yep. Yeah. But, but typically they're bigger deals. They're like two million or more. And it's like the best it's I should say, how could I say, I won't say the best. It is the the best cash flow loan program out there. Got it. Because they'll do a thirty five year amortization, mm-hmm. um, non recourse, meaning no personal guarantees or any of that stuff. Yep. The the interest rate is through the floor. I mean, it's it's it's, it's no one finances lower with a lower interest rate than than FHA or, or HUD. You know. Got so, it. I mean, they're going to be a, you take whatever the best rate you think you can find and they're going to beat that by a full point. I mean, it's not even close. Wow. You know, the negative of FHA is that uh, uh, they take a long time to close. Okay. Okay. But they'll do high LTV. Mm. Okay. And on the DSCR, they'll do like 1.15. Okay. You know, so they'll do a, like a skinny, uh, a, a skinny yeah. deal. They'll do market rate, you know, low income housing, senior housing, you know, so it doesn't have to be, you know, again, it's, it's HUD, FHA, yeah. but it can be luxury apartments. Okay. It doesn't have to be like affordable, you know, strictly. Um, um, but anyway, this guy was, I was working on this deal. This is, God, this is probably no more than two years, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like two years into the business, maybe three years into the business. And, um, I got it, and I was working with an FHA map lender. Um, they can accelerate the process. I won't get into the details of that. But the long story short, the guy went around me, and um, I introduced it. My lender's name was John, right? And I said who John was at the time. John's not re- long retired, but um, he, you know, did an internet search or whatever, found him directly, mm-hmm. called him. Mm-hmm. And said, "Hey, I want to do this deal," and you know, and uh, John's like, "Okay, well, we were just on the phone with Malcolm like two days ago. You know, why aren't you talking about? Oh no, I want to do this deal with you. You know, blah blah blah. I mean, we don't have to use Malcolm. You know, blah blah blah. And some loan programs, the the broker is not an actual expense to the borrower. Okay. Okay." where you're paying the broker directly like you do on the residential. There's some loan programs in commercial where the lender is compensating the broker mm. out of their pocket. Got it. Okay. They're not they're not ramping up their fee. If mm-hmm. they don't have a broker they make more money, you know, flat out. But if the broker's involved, it's coming out of their cut. They're not actually increasing the fees to the borrower. And so, example, with SBA or FHA, those fees are set. Yep. So, if I'm doing an FHA deal, it's coming out the lender's pocket because FHA does not allow you Mm -hmm. to throw fees on top of their very restrictive fee schedule. Yep. Okay. So, this guy called, the the John ended up calling me the next day, and he was like, remember that guy we had a conference call with a couple days, Derek, so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Um, that guy called me directly, tried to cut you out the deal, da 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 da, and um, I'm done. So if you talk to that guy, tell him never to call me, lose my number. <clears throat> and I was like, wow. And and John's point was, if he would work with so little integrity, 
because I explained him the deal, I explained him the program, mm-hmm. and set him up with somebody that would do the deal. And then he would still come out and try to cut me out. Mm-hmm. John's I was like, I can't trust the operating statement. I can't trust the, the financial statements. Yep. His, pers- his personal financial statement that he's going to submit. Because mm-hmm. the guy has no integrity. Yep. And this whole business is built on trust. Yes. Right? 100%. So, yeah, I can't, you know, I can't trust that guy. And, so. and to that, you know, to John, it also looks bad on you because you brought in that guy, you know, unfortunately. Well, well, so. But he, he well, probably understood. He probably yeah, understood. Because we all, you know, we all yeah. meet guys in this business yeah. who are like, it's all about the money. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just business. It's just business, yes. Randy. I'm screwing you over, man. It's nothing personal. Yeah. It's just business. Okay. You know, and like you mentioned, Todd Chun, great yeah. guy. Yes. Right. Great guy. I can work with great people. Yep. Love working with great people yep. because you know the you know the the real secret to building long term uh, profitable relationships mm-hmm. is you make sure everybody you do business with makes money right 100%. so when i put my investment group together right that i work with on my deals i called a select group of people and i said hey guys we're going to do this putting this fund together we're going to do some, we're having a meeting on tuesday and i was meeting at the church matter of fact right and um uh, we're going to do this meeting tuesday night and a couple of my guys like, I don't care, dude. We'll just tell me when. Well, wait a minute, I ain't tell you what we're doing yet. It don't matter. Because every time I do a deal with you, I make money. <laughs> you know, I'll show up. Yep. Tell me time and place. Yep. Right? And if, if you endeavor to make sure everybody makes a minimum what you promise or more, like, well, wait a minute. I thought I was getting this, and you actually threw a little bit of extra in there. Okay, great. This is actually better than what I expected. And if every time you do business with people, they make money, they will never hesitate to join you in your endeavors or recommend someone else yes. join you. And that's where building the relationships come in handy because see, I'm a wholesaler, and I'm making my buyers money by giving them properties that are, are, are good margins, things like that. Well, guess what? When I want to do my own, my first fix and flip, guess who I'm going to come to to try to get some connections to see if I can get some cheaper prices. Hey, where did you buy this? Where do you get this? Can you hook me up with your wholesaling uh, connection for materials, you know, whatever. And sometimes those people won't be the cheapest people. Right. Right? Yeah. I mean, there's this... You know, but they'll get them Zig done Ziggler, on time. Uh, Zig Ziglar once said, "Good things are seldom cheap, and cheap things are seldom good." Yep. Right, and it's so true. You know, people, you, you can't have quality, speed, and cheap. Yep. Right. You can have two of the three, but not all oh, yeah. three. I was just thinking about that saying, but I couldn't figure out exactly how it worked. But I you literally right? read my it could mind. Be, it could be cheap and fast, right? But it's not going to be good, right? Right. <laughs> and if it's good and fast, it's not going to be cheap, right? So it's like, you know, it's so you, you got to pick your pick your poison, if you would. And if you got good people, they may not be the like you know like my real estate attorney that I use. There's no by no means the cheapest guy in town, mm-hmm. you know. But he's the best guy I know, and I've known him like 30 years, mm-hmm. you know, almost, you know, like 27, right? Wow. Yeah. You know, there's no one else I would use for that. I don't think about what he charges me. I know he's going to do what I need him to do, and his advice is going to be top notch. Oh, by the way, I, I'm taking that clip that you just said. We're making a YouTube short out of it. All right. My VA, Josie, if you're listening, that what he said about the the, the three thing, make make a short out of that right there. That that's gonna get hits right there. I'm gonna tell you right now. So because it's the truth. It's the truth. You cannot 
I mean, you can. There's three things. And you can only have two of them. That's it. You cannot have all three. It's guaranteed. It's, it's, it's just not going to happen. And it, and it applies to everything. Yeah. Right. It applies it, like it, a it, restaurant. Oh my god. It applies to everything. <laughs> Right, it's like oh, what's I'm your priority? <laughs> you know what I'm yep. saying? Are you going to yep. give up speed? Yeah. Because if you want it cheap and good, it certainly ain't going to be fast. Right. We'll get to it when we get to it. So, um, so we're coming up to the wrapping up here, and I'm very glad that I got you to come on here. I really appreciate it. Now, how can people get a hold of you? Contact you? If they want to do a loan with you, they want to just pick your brain about uh, maybe they have a deal that they want you to either fund or want you to underwrite to help them out, whatever the case may be. Um, how can people get a hold of you? Well, our 800 number is okay. 800-598-5530. I'm extension okay. one. Uh, my local number uh, direct in Michigan is 248 579 Seven five extension one. Both numbers work. They, they it feels directly to me. Okay. You can find us on the web at castlecommercialcapital.com. Um, we have a, um, a mobile lending app for your phone. Okay. So with our mobile lending app, you can pre-qualify a deal, mm -hmm. put in the purchase price, the budget, the uh, expenses, what the NOI is. And it'll let you know if the deal qualifies for financing and what's the maximum loan amount. So rather than having to chase down the loan officer to figure out if you got a viable deal or not, you can do it right on your phone. And, it, and we do, we have 10 loan qualifiers on our app. Okay. So whether it's long term, commercial, commercial bridge, multifamily, bridge, single family, long, you know, single family long term, single family, you know, fix and flip you know um uh sba you know um, yeah. all of that kind of stuff uh, uh we do and, you, on the, and then when you go on the google play store or the apple app store just put in castle commercial capital got it you'll see our blue and gold logo Easy now we have those links in the description by the way okay and so if you have our time, YouTube channel. yes so your youtube channel we have all those links in the description um, check out his YouTube channel. Um, happy to, you know, have it. Uh, happy to have you here online. Uh, so, but all the links in the description, even for the app, for the Google Play Store and for the Apple Store, um, the links in the description. I think the app would be awesome to have. So check it out. Um, you know, if you're trying, especially if you're trying to underwrite a deal. So. Right. Yep. Right, right, right. And it's not, and, and you know, I mean, obviously, um, the way our app works is, you know, we're qualifying against our program, but in every calculator, we're actually qualifying it against anywhere from three to five loan programs. Okay. Awesome. So you run a deal through our app and it says not qualifies, it's probably not going to qualify with anybody. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. So, you know, whoever your favorite lender is, you know, you can even use our app to qualify the deal and then take it to them, you know, and not know you're not wasting your time, you know. Right. So um, I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm trying to see who wrote this, but they said, thank you for tonight. It was a great conversation. Uh, Andre, Andre wrote this. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, and so with that, uh, Malcolm, I'll bring you down. Just stay in, stay in the background for a moment. Uh, and we'll talk after. All right. But I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, everybody who, who, who's listening, who's out there. If you please subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, hit like helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, check us out on YouTube. If you're watching from the Facebook group, it's uh, at Randy Steadwell on YouTube. Please check us out, subscribe, uh, and go from there. Now, if you are not getting my emails about these, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment with your email. I'll add you to my email list. Um, I'm trying to send these out as much as possible uh, and kind of go from there. Thank you everyone for listening. 
Uh, we're going to next week. You know what? I'm going to try to bring on Terry Penny next week. I'm going to talk with her, see if her schedule, not next week, but the week after. We're doing every other week. All right. So I uh, thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. Appreciate saying good show. Uh, have a great day. And let's all do deals together. <laughs>